Coach Walters will say in the, this defense is probably the best you guys have seen since Michigan. How much better prepared do you think Adrian is? Obviously, he was hurt in that Michigan game, but just from the mental aspect of things. I think just, now. yeah, that's a great question. I, I think anytime you get as many reps, game reps underneath your belt, um, that's always important. But then again, you know, it's his, his first time playing Michigan, so that's going to be a different experience for him. It'll be interesting to see how uh, what their approach is uh, with us and with him particularly. But so um, just from the number of reps, I feel he's uh, more prepared. Absolutely. Do they do anything to limit quarterbacks, especially dual threat schemes that you've seen on film? Aside from them being really good, right? Aside of talent. Yeah, you know, their their coach on on defense does a, does a nice job. Um, you know, they're really 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 good against the run, as you know. Um, so obviously that puts a, a little stress on you in terms of the of the pass game. We just got to operate, make sure our feet are good and our eyeballs are good, and away we go. You haven't been afraid to put the ball in Adrian's hands running wise. I know he's a big kid, but 11 straight weeks now, how is he holding up physically, and what have you seen he's, from that regard? He, he's, he's been real good so far. You know, I, like any player, when you take those sorts of hits, you know, he's a little sore after yeah. game, nor, nor, normal stuff, but he's been really good so far. And so unless he... It's a weird angle or something like that, or someone tries to wrench his knee at the bottom of a pile, like our first pilot's well, supposed to talk about that. Um, then I think he'll be fine. He, he, he seems like he sort of learned how to take a hit, or he's learning that. <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's a, a great point, because I remember, like, even in the Colorado game, he was, like, running with reckless abandon like he thought he was in high school, you know, and I said, this is, this is college FBS football, man. You better be more careful about what you're doing. He still he seems like he's got that mentality, though, where he's going to try to get. Yeah, he, yes, he, he is. He's going to try to get every inch he possibly can when he has to. But I think still at the same time, he's becoming a little bit more judicious. When, when it, you know, it's just a normal down and distance, I think he's learning how to take care of his body more than he had in the past. How big a part do you think he can be in the run game in this one? You know, Michigan State hasn't faced a ton of dual threats this season. Yeah. I mean, does he give you guys something a little additional when you look at running success in this one? Yeah, I, I think any defense has to account for the, the quarterback, and they're not going to be any different. How they plan on doing that, we'll just, we'll just have, to, we'll have to see. I know they do a real nice job just in terms of the entire coordination of their defense, so it'll be interesting to see how they handle it. Some of the guys have said that uh, they've maybe gained quite a bit of confidence since they've started winning games, obviously three of the last four. Do you think that's the case with Adrian, or do you think he had sort of that confidence the whole time? Um, I, I think he's been a pretty confident young guy the whole time. Uh, I, I think probably more than anything we've talked about it, you know, quote-unquote the game slowing down and all that sort of business. That is starting to take care of it for him, and I think he's just becoming more comfortable is really what's happened to him. But then again, it's the first time playing Michigan, uh, Michigan State, excuse me. And um, it's going to be another set of new experiences for him. You know, He's had one kind of get popped out now and again, carrying the ball, someone knocks the ball out. Is there a common thread to when people have been able to get the ball away from him that, that you would like to see fixed, or is it sort of case by case? I, I think it goes back to what you asked earlier just about, um, you know, he's not in high school. You know, and, and if you remember the one who was running the sideline at Wisconsin, he didn't anticipate some guy hawking him down and trying to punch the yeah. ball. So be aware at all times. I don't think there's anything uh, aside from it uh, except what's, what he can control, you know, and just be more cognizant of ball security all the time. Yeah. He mentioned last Monday that uh, he hadn't really played in an environment that as cold as uh, what he was going to face on Saturday. How do you think he held up to that? I thought, he, I thought he did fine, particularly when he came out. Um, I think we were on Friday when he came out. God, it was a horrible day. And he comes out, takes his shirt off, puts a beanie on. He's out there running around like a madman, you know, just. So uh, it was good for us to see him do that, you know, and he was having some fun with it. And then Saturday came, and it wasn't as windy as I suspected it might be which is, I hate probably more than anything. I, I thought he did, I thought he, he didn't say anything to me about it in terms of coming to the sideline and saying X, Y, Z about the cold, that it was never brought up once. He's the best quarterback in the Big Ten. 
Pardon me? Is he the best quarterback in the Big Ten? He's our quarterback. I know. <laughs> but you've seen every I – mean, I mean, you've seen every quarterback with the exception of McSorley that I think would be considered. Yeah. I'm giving you a chance to stump for you guys. <laughs> He's a good player, you know. And Comparatively, we'll, though. We'll wait till the end of the season and see where he is. We have two more games, and I'm going to keep on saying the same thing to him I've been saying to him every week. Um We'll see how good you are based on this last performance in relationship to the game you just played. And, you know, if he can just – he's been really good about not trying to push the game, not trying to do any of that sort of stuff. Outside of what his job is, he's been really good with that. And I, I, I trust he'll continue that these last two games, and I guess I'll feel more comfortable maybe making an evaluation. Uh, the Nebraska game will be well over by the time UCF and Cincinnati play on Saturday. You're going to watch that game and watch what the kids can do on the biggest stages. Of his season. Who's playing? UCF in Cincinnati. Little man? Yeah. KZ? Yeah. College game day will be there. Yeah. yeah. KZ, if, if I get a chance to, I know we have some recruiting responsibilities, but he's um, he's a neat young guy, man. I, I love that kid. We can use him in recruiting, too. Look at, that guy. <laughs> Look at their offense. That's where we're going, That's right? a good one. Yeah. you got to talk to Sean Dillon and those guys about I'll that, I'll do man. that. I have it on every Let's TV get that cranked up, Sam. That's our team, right? Like, <laughs> how much uh, – I, I, look, I mean, I know you, you're here now, but, like, how much pride do you still have in knowing that your staff built a lot of what they're doing? Uh, certainly you look back on it with a, with a sense of accomplishment, a sense of pride, but obviously it's uh, Coach Heupel and his, his team now that have, have carried it forward. But you certainly, at least for me personally, with regards to, let's just say, McKenzie, yeah. you know, uh, we had a, a part in, in getting that particularly. Well, he's not there if you're not if you don't off, recruit you know. him there, right? Yeah, ex- exactly. Yeah. You know, and, and Frosty felt good about it, and I did. and. You know, and then, as you say, all the rest is history, you know, but uh, there weren't very many people looking at Mackenzie Milton at all when he was coming out of high school. Do you think he belongs on some Heisman ballots this year? Casey? Yeah. Oh, I I, I think so, based on his numbers, you know, just a little bit that I've seen. Um, And, you know, I think he finished up eighth last year. I haven't looked recently where he might be on, if if, if he even is on the ballot, but... Um, I still have that letter that they sent to him. You know, that was really a neat thing. I showed our quarterbacks down here. That was from awesome. the Heisman Trust. Yeah, that was awesome. I gave. Well, obviously, we gave him the original, but I kept the copy for myself. <laughs> I, I asked him if that was okay. He said that'd be fine. Well, just so the letter that he finishes a top ten, or what was yeah, that? it was. It was about uh, where he was in the balloting, and it was really, really a, a neat thing, man. Awesome. So you think he's got a chance to make it to New York this year? I hope so. I hope for his sake. Uh, he's such a neat kid. He's worked really hard. He's a really humble young cat. I don't know if you've ever had a chance to talk to him. But uh, whatever comes his way, um, I know Frosty and I and the rest of the guys on the staff will be more than happy for him. But uh, hopefully it, something like that happens. He's a great young guy. Adrian yeah. goes a long way out of his way to not allow that anything might affect, you know, you, it's going to be cold, we'll have a hand warmer. Does the wind affect anything? No. Is he is he like that all the time? I mean, does, does he go that far out of the way to not make, it's not, not even an excuse, but he doesn't seem to acknowledge any external factor that, that <laughs> but, might have the ability to that, No, that, that's how he is, and I, that's how our guys are in the room, but he exemplifies that. He's obviously played the most and so on and so forth, but it was the weirdest thing at Ohio State is, dude, are you okay? Are you all right? And he was he was perfectly fine. And it's like that in practice. Um, it was like that Saturday. It was, I heard it was the coldest game in 25 years here. Big off yeah. So I he didn't it didn't phase him one bit. You know, uh, he's that's just him. Man. That's how he is, which is great.